I love nature, I love trees, I love grass very much. I just love looking at grass and walking on grass, especially this short northern kind of grass. I don't know, I maybe it's a weird thing to love, but I love grass. I am blessed with so much freedom in my life and I decided to be more positive, be more positively minded because I realized that a lot of my life I was actually very negative in my head and it is very very hard to realize that you are negative in your head if this is your default state and no one points it out and you just kind of get used to being negative so you don't know anymore that you actually are negative it just becomes a normal part of your everyday mind and so you don't see it as negativity anymore you just think that the world is how you perceive it A lot of horrible stuff is going on in the world and things happen that are really hard and a lot of suffering happens to humans and other beings and sometimes the only thing we can change is our perception of the things that are happening and when this is the case we can actually decide if we live in a world that is full of suffering or we choose to live in the world where there is light and hope and faith. It's really a personal decision but it doesn't really always feel like a decision. A lot of the times it feels like we don't have the power to change anything but in fact it is very important to remember that we have the power, that every each one of us is creating a reality and it is their choice what kind of reality they're going to create. I really decided I want to indulge in more positivity and that I want to see the world half full because it will be half full if I see it that way. And that is a really powerful realization, I think, and the one we sometimes find and cultivate and then again forget it and then we find it again. The life is a roller coaster as we all know, but the important thing is to always come back to this feeling that we are in control, that we have the power, the power of shaping our perception in whatever we want it to be. Recently I've been selling some of my originals and one of the originals that I sold is Friendly Farm. A beautiful person on Etsy bought it and I'm saying goodbye to it. I always look at the painting for a little bit before I send it off just to say goodbye because an artist and a painting are really connected I think. This is a lot of my hours and a lot of my energy and thoughts that are poured into the into this object and I really want it to go to good hands and find a good home and I'm so happy when my paintings find good homes. If you want to check out my Etsy shop you can, the link is down below in the description box 
and I sell my prints, originals and stickers there. So my products are really in every price range and it's about my favorite thing to package and send you your orders. I just love being an artist. Recently, my art style began to go through some big changes. I started to reshape my painting process to something that suits my personality more and that suits the idea that I want to present to the world more. In the past, I was really focused on more detailed and realistic-like paintings and nowadays I decided I want to be more free with my painting and express the ideas quicker but also more loosely so I want to feel more free on my painting surface basically so I am trying those techniques here to paint this beautiful foggy landscape and this painting is first in the series of my quiet, empty, foggy landscapes. I am very excited to show you the series and to show you what I'm working on. But for now, this is a little part that you're seeing right here. I'm not really focused so much on the details, but I'm trying to make something that makes more sense from the distance. So something that is kind of how a person would see a scene. It's still a little bit realistic, but there is a little bit expressionism in there. And I really enjoyed this process more than the realism hustle kind of process that I was doing before. So I enjoyed this shift that is happening right now with my painting process. I kind of remembered this week that a human's perception of the world is a lot about narratives that are stuck in the brains and that sometimes are good and nice. For example, you can have a narrative that you are a good person at heart and that is positive and good. But you can also have a narrative that money is bad or that you have to struggle to deserve something that you have to struggle and fight to deserve good things in your life these narratives come from our primary family the society in general the media you know they come from many different places but the narratives of lack of not having enough of struggling of not deserving stuff are really toxic and are really an abusive factor in our brains and I recently decided I'm gonna put an end to those negative narratives and replace them with more positive ones. If you want to change the narrative that already exists in your head and it's deeply rooted, you have to kind of work on it for a little bit. It's not that easy to get rid of those patterns that are in our head for such a long time, maybe from our childhood, from early years, from our experiences that happened to us. And 
yeah, it's challenging. You have to put in the conscious effort. And I really am trying to do that. And I realized that I got this toxic narrative, one of many, um, through my experiences. And this one came from my early art making experience. And it was when I wasn't really that good at art and I wasn't really getting the full picture. Um, I wasn't really ready to get the full picture of what it means to be an artist. And it wasn't going well for me, you know? I wasn't selling much. I didn't get views. I didn't have get likes. No one really took an interest in my art. And I got the idea in my head, this narrative in my head, that my art business is not growing and that I have to struggle very much to grow and that even if I try, even if I try really, really hard and work all the time, it still won't grow. This narrative is very toxic and not good for anything, not good for my mental health, not good for how I'm feeling and not good for my art because the energy that artists kind of puts out, you know, the vibe of a person, I think reflects on their artwork and I want my art to present peace and I want my art to be good for mental health. I want a viewer to feel at peace at home and I want my art to give a little hope to a viewer, um, a little hope and cozy vibes. I can't give that to a viewer if I don't feel that myself because if I don't feel that myself, I won't present it well in the painting. So yeah, it's kind of, everything is this circle. Uh, if one thing doesn't work, then another thing is not gonna work. And if another thing is not gonna work, the third thing will not have the impact that I want it to have. So I really want to clear my path, you know? I wanna clear my mind. I wanna be honest and straight with myself because it all starts with honesty. And I want to change the negative narratives and make the perception of my life a little more positive and a little better every day. So that's what I was thinking this week. What are you thinking about? Tell me in the comments below. You can check out my Etsy shop, as I said previously, I have all of my products there, I'm super proud of my products, I pour all of my love and care into them, so if you can, check it out. But also, if you can't, thank you so much for watching this video, uh, you are very cool. And thank you so much for subscribing, if you are subscribing, you know, um, I would be very happy if you did and let us grow this community this art community you can also check out my instagram where i'm posting daily and showing you what i'm doing in a given moment so behind the scenes studio work um, processes of my individual paintings and stuff you know all the cool art things that you can imagine um, are 
in on my Instagram, in my Etsy shop, and you know, in my other videos that you can watch after this one. Thank you again for watching. I'm sending you all the positive vibes. I encourage you to also find out what your negative narratives are in your head and change them. Have a lovely day and I will see you again soon in another video. Bye.